Hello, I'm Dr. Thomas Riles, a vascular surgeon from New York University Medical Center in New York, and this is a Society for Vascular Surgery briefing about referring patients for carotid surgery. We generally think about individuals with carotid artery disease in two broad categories, those who have experienced neurological symptoms and those who are asymptomatic, never had a neurological event. Let's talk first about symptomatic patients. Neurological symptoms include strokes or sudden prolonged loss of a body function, such as the strength of an arm or leg, facial paralysis, loss of speech, or blindness. Individuals can also have transient symptoms of the same type, sometimes lasting only minutes or hours. In either case, if there is a significant plaque in the carotid artery leading to that half of the brain responsible for those symptoms, the risk of a future stroke is 15 to 20 percent within a year. Clearly, these, individu these individuals should be referred for surgery, even with the 1 to 2 percent risk of an operation. The risk of stroke following surgery is greatly reduced. There is strong evidence that for symptomatic patients, the risk of stroke is far less with surgery than with medical management alone. For individuals with carotid artery disease and no symptoms, the risk of future stroke is much less. For those people, we must be much more selective in recommending surgery. Typically, the carotid artery disease is suspected by an alert physician who listens to the patient's neck with a stethoscope and hears a brewery or a swishing sound where the blood is passing through the narrowed plaque in the artery. Sometimes the diagnosis is made from a routine screening test, an ultrasound, for example, ordered because of a history of vascular disease or a family history of stroke or perhaps in preparation for an unrelated major surgical procedure. Whatever the case, an effort is made to determine how narrowed has the artery become due to the plaque. If the narrowing is minimal or even moderate, say less than 70 percent reduction in the diameter of the artery, the risk of future stroke is minimal and therefore surgery is not beneficial. These individuals should be evaluated yearly with a duplex ultrasound to make sure that there is no progression of the plaque. On the other hand, if there is severe narrowing, 80 percent or more, the risk of stroke can be as much as 5 percent each year. Provided the patient is in good health and the risk of the operation is less than 2 percent, there is a benefit to having the surgery. From 70 to 80 percent, one might use discretion based on the appearance of the plaque, the patient's health, and age. These are very general guidelines. We don't have time to discuss the many variations, such as individuals with one artery completely occluded or perhaps non-focal symptoms. If there are any questions, it's best to refer the patient to your vascular surgeon so that he or she can sort out the issues. This briefing is made possible through a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about vascular disease, visit vascularweb.org.